Hello everyone. In this INR number 76, we are going to study about a very important recently asked question in exam and that is the acromegaly. This is a very important topic which is a recent, uh, you know, recently asked topic in our exam. So what are the important point here in acromegaly? Acromegaly is a excessive growth hormone in adults. Remember, in adults, excessive growth hormone is called as acromegaly. And what is the source of this growth hormone? So most commonly, it is growth hormone secreting pituitary adenoma, right? So acromegaly is a excessive growth hormone because of pituitary adenoma, right? So please remember, pituitary adenoma will be the most, uh, right? The most common cause. So in growth hormone is most abundant pituitary hormone remember this is the most abundant so whenever pituitary uh, adenoma will happen this growth hormone will be excessively secreted from them so you can see this is the picture where we are seeing the hypothalamus in hypothalamus then we can see there is a pituitary and pituitary is having tumor that is the pituitary adenoma right so pituitary gland pituitary adenoma as they are having most abundant hormone as a growth hormone so what will happen there is a excessive amount of growth hormone this excessive amount of growth hormone will cause acromegaly right so that is what we have to remember that pituitary adenoma is the most common cause for acromegaly right and growth hormone will be excessive amount because pituitary is rich in the growth hormone and what will be the clinical finding so clinical finding will be enlargement of the head head will be long larger so enlargement of the head jaw prognathism so you can see jaw prognathism prominent chin and jaw remember prominent chin and jaw is called as prognathism right and fingers and feet will be also enlarged see, normal fingers and like this and now you can see these are the enlarged hand fingers right so this will be same for the feet also so fingers and feet will be also enlarged and they will be having coarse facial feature remember coarse facial feature means what are the things you are going to observe and that was a pyq in the exam right so we will see the prominent head so you will see the prominent head will be there then you will notice that nose will be also enlarged right and when you will see the mouth they will be having enlarged lips and tongue so enlarged lips and tongues i will show you later on right and prominent chin and jaw already i have told you so this is a very characteristic picture of the you know acromegaly which examiner ask in exam they will describe all these things prominent forehead enlarged nose enlarged lips and tongue and they will be having prominent chin and jaw and this prominence of chin and jaw what we are seeing here this is called prognathism which had been asked in exam right what are other clinical features we are going to see they will be having deep voice hoarseness of the voice will be present right so deep voice or hoarseness of voice will be present now you can see that large tongue is there right so you remember larger lips and larger tongues so larger tongues and you can notice that in this larger tongues lot of deep furrows are there right so they will be having deep furrows and they will be having intense sweating or diaphoresis right so intense sweating which is also called diaphoresis will be present and left ventricular hypertrophy will be there right so they will have hypertension and left ventricular hypertrophy so hypertension will be there very high blood pressure and they will be having cardiomegaly so because of this cardiomegaly will be causing you know they will be having heart failure with preserved ejection fraction h right though they will be having preserved ejection fraction so heart failure with preserved ejection fraction why i am emphasizing on this because this cardiomegaly is the most common cause of death and this is the heart failure with preserved ejection fraction is the most common cause of death in this patient right so please remember out of all these clinical feature cardiomegaly is the most common cause of death in this patient right further examination you will also notice they will be having increased heel pad thickness so increased heel pad thickness you can see that increased heat felt thick heat uh, pad thickness is there so heel pad thickness will be increased when women will seeing the female is more than 21.5 millimeter and in males it is more than 23 millimeter right and then tufting of the phalanges generalized osteoporosis will be also seen joint abnormalities will be seen as a hypertrophic arthropathy so they will be having hypertrophic arthropathy so that is the reason we are seeing the larger hand and feet are there right so they are having arthropathy 
colon will be showing you polyp and malignancy so colonic polyp and malignancy can be also seen and they will be having impaired glucose tolerance or insulin resistance right so what should be the treatment in this patient so acromegaly treatment is transesphenoidal pituitary adenoma resection right so basically surgical transesphenoidal pituitary adenoma, adenoma resection will be the treatment but if it is not cured if it is not cured then what are the medical treatment we are going to use and that was the question in exam somatostatin analog we can use so what are these octreotide landreotide and passereotide right and this was the question in recent exam what are the growth hormone receptor antagonists we are using for acromegaly so that is pegvisomant right so pegvisomant is a growth receptor antagonist which we use in the treatment of acromegaly and we can also use dopamine agonist like a cabergolin or bromocryptin which will inhibit the growth hormone release so revise these topic again i am telling you you may get the question from the treatment or the from the clinical presentation my best wishes to all of you